smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another wrapping video for you guys, but um, we're gonna be working on my brother's trunk. So um, he has a couple things you need to do, and I think I'm gonna do the trunk as a separate video because there's a lot of things you guys need to pay attention to. Um, trunk is not hard. It's it's probably one of the hardest things on the car, but it's still not hard. But there's a lot of things you have to remove. And I'm gonna show you guys what my brother's doing right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so my brother, um, he's removing these clips. Basically, there's like clips holding this all the way around, as you guys can see. Um, it looks like that. So you have to, you have to separate those two pieces, and then um, and then when you put it back in, you insert this first, and then the outside part, and that's what like pretty much makes the arms open. But yeah, anyways, that's what you have to do for that part. It's not that difficult, but um, don't try to go all the way deep in. You have to go like in between the two clips and pop out the first clip, and the second clip should come out with it. So he's gonna go ahead and do all that, and we'll get back to you guys in a second. This is a Chucky Beat production. Next thing you gotta do, guys, before you take off uh, this entire gray thing, you have to remove this uh, like emergency thing. Um, so pretty much you pu you put it at an angle and then you pull down on it. I don't want to do this on camera because I want to rip it, but uh, basically you need you need two hands for it. You just put it at an angle and then pop it out. All right, guys. So right now um, we're moving the two. There's like a screw on each side, and it has like a bracket with it. You see this black bracket. Make sure you do not lose that black bracket. Take it out with the screw. I think it should sit with the screw. That comes out like that. All one piece. Make sure you keep this piece, and the rest of the trunk should just stay together. And then for the tail lights, just go ahead and push it up. And it should come right on out. And there's just that one cable connected. Disconnect that cable. This hell of adhesive is crazy. so much adhesive guys you just have to keep playing with it um once the adhesive came off with the thing which is perfect uh we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning all this up but we'll start cleaning that once we actually get these off as well it doesn't matter if we scratch it again this car is scratched all over the place it really doesn't matter so i'm gonna go ahead and just put my flathead underneath take that off that's the first letter uh, just like that now we're just left with the glue we're gonna go ahead and try to get all this off and then all you gotta do is take off the plate clean up the trunk we're ready for wrap All right, guys, so if you're looking at it, um, we got most of the logo off. We scratch, you know, quite a bit, but you're not going to be able to see that really underneath the wrap. It's not that noticeable. And then right there, you don't have to clean this up 100%. As long as the wrap can sit over it, um, it doesn't, you know, have to be perfect because you're going to put the logo right above it. So that doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and take off the plates and we should be good. My brother's also getting custom plates soon, so that's going to be pretty dope. Um, and we got those off. We have nothing really left on the car. We're going to leave this in there, but we're going to go ahead and remove those. Those are fairly easy to remove. You just go ahead and push it one direction. It should come right on out. I'll show you guys how you do that in a second. All right, guys, there's no way going around that, and there's no way going around this. It's a lot of work. It's really not necessary. But these guys, there is a way to avoid it, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. All you got to do really is just grab a flathead and just pry it. Once you bring it out, you should be able to just keep pushing it the opposite direction, and it just comes out. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to do one piece right here. As you guys can see, there's like this crease line right there. So you're going to do one piece right here, goes all the way across. You're not going to see it because of the light right here. And then you're going to do another piece right over here, which would be the second piece you're going to do. And then the third piece is literally going to be the entire trunk all the way around. Uh, and it's going to like tuck in right here where the second piece is. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go for it. I right, guess so at this point, we got like the pretty much the outer perfectly. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and use heat and, you know, just this press this in. So yeah, can you put some heat real quick? And as you apply some heat, we can actually press inwards and get that shape that we want. You wanna work at your edges just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this, guys. I'll get back to you guys when it's done. But that's all you gotta do with heat.
right guys so we just got that bottom portion done before we put in the tail lights we're gonna go ahead and do the top portion so you have to do five foot so all you gotta do is measure from the bottom all the way up here which i'm assuming that's about like two feet so it'll probably gonna be like five by two feet and that should be good enough and then you gotta go ahead the rest of this is pretty easy you go from here and then make sure you use a little bit of heat don't stretch it over here and then it's fine to stretch it down here but um don't make sure you don't stretch it at this point because if you stretch at this point it's gonna look really bad at this point you guys will see what i mean when i'm when i'm gonna be wrapping in a few minutes <laughs> She's trying to get up on me I tell her like Habibti That's too hot on Wallahi Where they are I was raised with Somali Everyone got a friend named Abdi I'm from OT 613